Okay, so in my last video, I, um, I released this small shader pack, and a couple of you guys in the comments asked me to show you how I made them, so I'll do a short series on um, the different shaders here. So we're gonna, we're gonna attack my favorite one, which is right here um, for this video. So let's do it. Um, so just put in whatever mesh you want. I'm gonna do a simple uh, sphere. I like to test all my shaders on spheres here. Um, so I'm going to subdivide it, doesn't really matter, but all right, so let's go into the node editor. If you're using 2.8, there should be a shading preset for you. I'm going to turn off bloom and go to the look dev. Okay, so in, um, in the node editor, click a new material and then stay in the principled. And so we're going to put in two nodes. We're going to use brick texture here leave some space right here we're gonna put a node right there in just a second and then get a noise texture all right so plug in the brick to the base color and so now we got this going on it's self-explanatory it's just some good bricks um, actually in the thumbnail that's what I used on the floor as well so you just add some gloss and things like that um, so we have this and then we're going to plug the noise texture into the vector of the brick, and that's going to jumble everything around. So now we got all this. You can up the detail if you want. It does that, or all the way down, whatever you want. I'm going to keep it at 2 for the default, um, and then up the scale. This is all up to you. And so now we want to color it. We can see three colors, a gray, a sort of lighter gray or white, and then the full black. So we want to manipulate that. So we want to put a color ramp in. Put it right here in the middle. This is important, the, uh, the order we put. And so now, nothing's changed. It's because these are two are black and white. And so let's change the black to an orange. Um, let's change the white to a, all the way down to a black. And then right here on the plus symbol, just add another one and it adds another. And you can go crazy with this too if you want. Um, and I'm gonna make it all white. And so now we have this going on. There's some variation within each of the segments and we want it to look um, just three, only three colors, not a variation. So right here on linear, put it on constant and that gives it a hard edge here in the preview. And so you can just move these around and now instead of it being um, like a variation with a gradient, it is just a constant hard edge and it looks pretty good and you can move these around as well sort of make it look however you want and just have fun and you can go crazy too you can bring another one here and we can make it like a green and then bring it over and now you have four colors to play with so you can go pretty crazy with it and then the last thing we want to do is add a bump B -U -M -P. Um, originally in 2.79 you would just take this noise texture and plug it right into the displacement but you can't do that in 2.79 the way that works is you plug the bump into the normal and then you take your brick texture over here and plug it straight into the height and now if you just let it load we're gonna have a little bump mapping going on and there we go, it's got some bump. It's a little more obvious in cycles. We're previewing this in Eevee, but still, you can see now we have some ridges and some bump mapping. It just makes it look a little better. And there you go, that's the shader. Have fun with it, mess around with it. You can change out all these settings here um, and just do some crazy stuff and just have some fun with uh, how it looks. And yeah, there you go, thanks for watching.